On the Nuts and Bolts, we feel it's our job to introduce you to products that you don't get to see every day. And at the marina, there were literally hundreds of boats to see. But this year, the power catamarans caught my eye. Their twin hulls offer exceptional stability, they ride really well in a chop, and they don't have the uncomfortable roll in a beam sea like V-hulls can. So we took a couple of these sleek machines out for a ride and we weren't disappointed. Now first up is a new 26-foot cat from Calcutta Marine. It's built for fishing, it's easy to trailer, and with its high-tech hull design, this big little boat will absolutely scream through the water powered with twin Honda 90s, resulting in great performance with excellent fuel efficiency. Our 26-foot Calcutta is one of the most fuel efficient hulls on the water today. It's 26 feet, we're able to hang a pair of 90s, and it'll still top out at 40 miles an hour while getting great fuel economy. Uh, this boat was designed for fishing. We, we talked with fishermen, we built the boat specifically for fishing. You can fish it 360 degrees, it's wide open, it's got an eight and a half foot beam, but most people think the boat is beamier and longer than 26 feet. Up here on the bow of the boat, we've got storage all down on the deck with a large anchor locker, a windlass, and a tow kick up here so you know where you are on the deck. The gunnels are nice and wide so you can walk the deck all the way to the back of the boat. A very unique feature of the Calcutta 26 is its patented Seagate, which folds down to create a flat transom area. This provides easy access for divers or for pulling a big fish on board. Now as they say, the proof is in the pudding. So Sam took Captain Cayman Miller and me on a test ride out into a very choppy Miami Bay. The Honda 90s put this boat on plane almost instantly and there was virtually no bow rise. With four of us on board, the boat had a top speed of 41 miles an hour and cruised at a very fuel efficient 32 miles an hour. The 26 sliced through the chop without pounding and had very little outward inertia when making a tight turn, both big pluses. And where the Powercat design really stands out is the amount of true fishing room on the boat. With an eight and a half foot beam, this boat's deck space is comparable to what you'd find on a 30 foot deep V. The console has plenty of room for a big 12 inch display and inside the console, you'll find ample access to all the electrical connections and the wiring is neat and well laid out. With a 126 gallon fuel capacity and the miserly Honda 90s, you can go to the far off fishing grounds several times without making a stop at the fuel docks.